So you want to save your Word document as a picture, such as a JPEG or a PNG file. I'm going to show you two methods. First method, what you want to do is start by selecting your text. Then you want to copy it, and I'm just going to use Control C on my keyboard to do that. Alternatively, on the Home tab, you can click this button, the Copy button. Then you want to create a new document, and I'm going to use Control N on my keyboard to do that. Alternatively, you could have gone to File, New, and click on Blank Document. Now, in the Blank Document, you want to go to this Paste button. It's on the Home tab. Go to the little drop down. And there is an option to paste as a picture. So this is in fact now a picture within this new blank document. And if I right click on it, I can choose save as picture, give it a name, and choose what type of file you want to save it as. So it could be a PNG file, a JPEG file, or a GIF file. I go for JPEG, click on save. So Windows Explorer, Here's my image. If I double click on it, what I don't like about this method is there is no margin around the text. But the second method I'm going to show you doesn't have that problem. So let's look at the second method for converting a Word document to a picture. I'm in the same document, and to use this method, the first thing you want to do is create a brand new blank document. So I'll use the shortcut key Control N. Then within this blank document, you go to the insert tab on your ribbon, and then you go to this screenshot button, and then you go down to screen clipping. Now, when you press that button, it will take you back to the last document you were in before you created the blank document. And I have this mouse pointer now that appears as a black cross. And what you want to do is basically drag over the area of the document that you want to save as an image. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of space around the text to give myself a margin. And I'm going to drag over the text, holding down my left mouse button, and then let go. So that will then insert that area that I selected into this blank document as a picture. So again, I can right click on it, save as picture, give it a name. And this time I'm going to save it as a PNG file. So I click on save. Back in Windows Explorer, here's my file. If I double click on it, it opens up and I have that nice margin around my text. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.